The fight against hate speech seems to be shifting gears as Minister of Information and Culture Lion Mohammed states that budget and technology will be increased just to combat it and regulate social media. And another tanker falls in Onicha. Is there a problem in Onicha we need to combat immediately? This is Plus Politics and I am Felicity Ezewike. Welcome. The Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed, has stated that the Muhammad Buhari administration plans to increase funding and technical know-how to regulate social media and combat hate speech. His statement has indicated that the Nigerian government would not back down on its mission to regulate speech on social media despite widespread opposition to it. Joining us to discuss this, Dio, Dr. Dayo Kayode, political technocrat, thank you for joining us. My pleasure being here. But let me ask you, is uh, Felicity the same thing as Felicia? <laughs> <laughs> we also have um, Barrister Tunji Abdulhamid. Thank you very much thank for you coming. Thank you It's my pleasure to be here. So, more funding, stiffer regulation, way to go or not? Hmm. hmm. You see, Permit me to say this in Yoruba, and I will interpret it. In Ekiti, we always say that uh, Eju, I mean only, no man more as only Tonori Apata. That is, you know, when the, when two people belong to the same uh, clique or the same court, they know how to checkmate each other. Why am I saying this? If you go back a little bit to, to the era of uh, former president, uh, president uh, former president, His Excellency Good Lord Jonathan, Ebele Good Lord Jonathan, and APC was in the opposition, we all knew the kind of propaganda that they came up with, including plus so many eight speeches here and there, even abusing him, even to his face. But you could see the way he played a gentleman relationship with APC then. He was not coming up with any, like, hate speech, or I'm going to find you for doing this to me, or I'm going to find you for telling me all this. But hey, they are now, the others, they are now on the other side of the table. They are now seeing probably people coming up with same propaganda because there are a lot of them that they were together then that now they are no more together. People like Shore, people like uh, Timmy Frank, which they were together then, which they play these things together. And now they now find out that these guys are not with us. They are now, you, you could remember, if you follow what he said very well, he said, they know that there are some that are with them before and no more with them. They know that there are some people that have been sponsoring you know what? speeches you, you know and what? all that. In, instead of quoting him, let's take a look at uh, Lai Mohammed talking about this new fine and regulation and all of that. Let's see that video and then we'll continue with the conversation. A month of attacks, sponsored or otherwise, will stop us from implementing these recommendations. Two, that any responsible journalist has nothing to fear from these recommendations. Thirdly, that only anarchists and non-patriots will kick against these recommendations. We, we said it several times. We have absolutely no intention to stifle the, the media. We have no intention to gag journalists. But we do not want to make equate hate speech with free, spe with, 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 with free speech. There must be a point where a nation must responsibly take action. Otherwise, it will simply see it's the, the, the very fabric society 
being torn apart. In Rwanda, over 800,000 lives were lost to hate speech alone. In Nigeria here, we've had you know, instances of pandemonium and confusion. At the end of the day, it's all about fake news or hate speech. So for those who want to engage in disseminating fake news and uh, hate speech, there will be no rest for them. We will make sure that these laws are implemented and that anybody who runs foul of these new recommendations will be punished accordingly. He's sounding very obvious. Is it that bad? Is it that dangerous? I mean, hate that, speech. That is where I'm going. That's why, I'm, that's why I first of all took you to era of uh, Ebele Jonathan. You, you heard what he just said. He was even mentioned anarchist. All right? He said, whether sponsored or not, that now took me to even during the same Ebele Jonathan's uh, regime, whereby they increased fair price. You remember the old thing that happened during that period? Before that guy now reduced the prices of petroleum products. But thereafter, immediately this government came in, they increased this same petrol to what we have now. And nobody blinked an eyeball. I mean, nobody blinked an eyelid. So can, can we contain so, this? Because we have very limited time. Contain so it what, I'm now saying, yes. what I'm now saying is this. You cannot compare Uganda or Rwanda with Nigeria. Nigerians are so enlightened. And Nigerians, they, they understand any policy. They, they can see. Nigerians are proactive. So if you are now saying they should not talk about things that they know will affect them in future, then where do we go from here? Let's bring Barista Tunji into this conversation. I this is um, not a new phenomenon. We've been hearing about hate speech and all of that. But what is really hate speech? It, like, it, there seem to be varying definitions depending on who you ask. Could you maybe share some light on it, taking it from the aspect of those who say that because they are critics of government, this um, hate speech movement is meant to gag those that criticize what the government is doing. Could you speak yeah, on it? Yeah, Felicity, I think you are, you are asking me the question I, want, I, I wanted to ask uh, Mr. Lai Mehmet. <laughs> yeah, because uh, uh, when you say you are regulating the social media, you are regulating hate speech or fake news. My problem is uh, I don't even know what, what they mean by hate speech. I don't know what they mean by uh, fake news. I don't, I don't, I don't see them. I've not seen them define what hate speech is what fake news is for well, me to I, know. I think fake news is whether, something that is fictitious, not factual. Who determines that? Or, yes, you can determine what the fake news is. How do you know whether news is fake or not? You know, because, because these days all I see is that once you make a statement or you, you put up a, a, a post or something and somebody denies it, they say because well, that, because that, because to, that person, that's, that's because that person denies it, it becomes well. a, a there fake. There are steps to... I mean, fact-checking stories you find online. First, there are things like sources and all of that. I mean, as a journalist, Felicity, we are all a let bit... Let me ask you. No, Felicity. excuse me. Let me, let me... We all are a bit, you know, we know that, okay, there is fake news sometimes. There are some things you, you know? see on WhatsApp. Let me ask you And then, that's what I just told you. There steps to fact-checking stories that are fake. But when you come to hate speech, that is what becomes... Um, I mean, from my journalistic point of view, a little tricky to define. And that's why I put the question even to you. Fake, even fake news is tricky to me, as I'm concerned. Because sometimes we miss things a lot. When you say fake news, or a news that is not correct, when I give you a news and it's not totally correct, maybe something is missing or something is uh, subtracted from it, does that make it fake? Or even if I ask them, sorry, I, 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 Barista, even if I, if I ask them, look, this is my road. You have not done it. It's now a motorable. And I can I find out from the ministry that this road has been awarded and what money has been paid. And me, I have found out from that ministry. Is that his speech? Or if I now tell you, hey, look, that's, somebody yeah, no, that's, that's why we are trying. That's, let's, let's make this conversation as productive as possible, right? 
we are here to try and make sense of all of this that's going on. And before we continue to do analysis of government saying that they want to bring more stringent laws against hate speech and fake news, let's get a clarity. At least to a certain degree, uh, the, we can... The first thing, what is for us to be able speech? to even talk more about it, like, like you said, is for Mr. Lai Mehmed, the Minister of uh, Information, and uh, have they changed the name or are they are still considering it? Uh, is, is, to, is, to, is, is to tell us, or I lie to us, this is, these are HP. These are they bring the boundaries. This. If you do that, the these are all called HPs. If you do this, if you do that, this is fake news. That's, that's when you can now say we, you, are, you are making regulation to, to do that. Because as far as I'm concerned, what they call fake news sometimes, and what they call uh, uh, HP sometimes, is t anything that has to do with that they're not in support of, or what, that, is anti, that is not in so it's, 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 seen, strong, it's seen as criticizing the, the government. That's what they see as HP. So because, let me give it, an example. Let me give an example. Because some, some journalists, even the, the media houses, they made a mistake. The allegation by Frank, uh, Frank against the mm. vice president. Mm -hmm. Most of you said uh, fake news, fake news. How do you see fake? How do you determine it's fake news? Have you gone to investigate? Has it been investigated? Has it been confirmed whether the, the, the information he put forward was not correct or was correct? Until that is done, that's when you can say the statement he gave was an edge speech. That be, be, so, uh, sorry, fake news. So as far as I'm because I, because I made a statement and somebody said no, does that make it fake? If two great minds don't seem to have like a clear cut idea what fake news that is, is the problem they done or what social um i mean um hate speech is there is a reality the fine for committing either offense has been increased from five million to how much now to from five hundred thousand to five and that is million. Media, that is even the media, even, even the fine, as far as I'm concerned, the five hundred thousand dollars even before it was, it was increased. As far as I'm concerned, is to me as far as I'm concerned, it's illegal. You can't be a judge in your own in your own, in your own cause. Yeah. You can't allege me of, of, of committing an offence and you be the one to find me. When you allege me on, of, of committing an offence, uh, why do, why do you 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 not even you not even tell me come and defend yourself or let's go to, you, you, you charge me to court for, to, to me to explain what, what has happened. You just say, you have looked at the information I put forward, uh, it's an eight piece, so I close your, your, your studio or your station. So on what basis? You, fine. Have you gone to law court to, to confirm that? Look at Timmy Frank. Timmy Frank came up with some facts and figures and said, this is this. If you like, take me to court. And, and people still maintain that that is And that he's still fitness. maintaining it. When the guy said, look, I'm going to act on the same go ahead and are act. Are there other instances? And then you want to cut down his speech. You both keep citing this fact. No, that's, that's what I'm going to mind now. Yeah, but trying... are there others that no, 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 fail? No, 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 We are trying to. Okay, look at the issue of this guy, too. That two, five hundred million naira or whatever from a, from a IDP money. Said that he went to cut grass somewhere. And said he stood up. Babache Lawa. Uh, Babache Lawa. And, and uh, said he stood up. Okay, you want to go to where you say you have cut that grass? And they go there, there, there was nothing like that. And you want to but tell when me that it was they put for, when now, it was fake. When, when it was all put for, they said it was fake. Or the issue of MTN versus the same, I think it's the same person too. Okay, let, 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 let's, let's see if we can... Uh, so what, I'm, what we are saying is, mm -hmm. let Lai Muhammad come out. For so instance, what, for instance, now, now, for instance now, okay. this is phone now. This Gentlemen. is Nokia phone. Yeah. It has been defined that it is Nokia phone because it's written. Let him also define the the perimeter that okay. people must not go beyond. I think uh, must, uh, what, is said that is, that what is fake news? What is fake news? Should not be within the definition of the mind of a Mr. Exactly. Uh, let, let, let one person speak at a time. The, the MBC situation. The, uh, fine at the moment now. We know that in the past uh, um, couple of years, uh, a lot of radio stations, television stations have been closed down for one infraction or the other. Uh, or the Alleged other. infraction. Alleged infraction or the other. I personally, I when I was a programs manager at some radio station, I used to have consistent conversation and later um, as to certain infringements on, you know, something we broadcast. And then we look at it thoroughly as a team. We see that there are some, I mean, some of the latest were frankly um, very, very skewed and constant debates. But this is something that happens on a daily basis. What is the ripple effect of this for media owners who have invested? What kind of encouragement will this be for them? There, there is nothing more to call it than to, you, are, you are trying to gag uh, the media. If you are saying you have to regulate what I say, 
you have to regulate what I, what I, what I put forward. You have to regulate the news I will, I, 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 I will put out. You have to regulate the information I have to say. That means, that means you, are not, you, are, you are no longer, you are no longer, you have no freedom again. That means what, what are the working, dangers? The danger is that people, people will not be able to express their freedom of uh, 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 what's it called? Sure. expression. People will not be able to say the things that it, it will affect development because people will not in want fact, to talk, it, so that they will, they, will, they, will, they, will, they, will, they will be afraid of them being a peak for for one infraction or, or, or the other. So in other words, people will see things that is wrong and they will keep quiet. People me, will see things that are not going, they are not, they are not going the way they should go. They will, they will, nobody will talk. Or even the media, they will see things that they are supposed to put forward to, to, for the public. They will say no. We can't do this because they will. So, in fact, some, that's why sometimes when you call on radio station or TV station, they will say that ah, you can't go there. How can I not go there? Am I abusing anybody? No, but, but the truth if of I'm not, the matter is that you know, okay. I'm, I'm not abusing anybody. You know, as much as I'm not, I'm not calling anybody on on, on, on cultural uh, names. If I'm saying any, if I'm giving out information, whether, whether what you have to tell me is that you know, as much as I, I say I can back it up. Or okay. I, or, or let, let, let's switch this conversation and ask. Let me let me rephrase and ask. Do you support any sort of regulation for the use of the internet, social media? Of course, there must be regulation in everything that you need to do. But regulations we don't have to be with what we put forward or what we so say. So who defines what that this is, that, regulation that is? That's what the problem is. Let, let's let's you begin see, from see, there. Who man. defines what? If if you both of you don't seem to agree with Lai Mohammed, let's now define what this. Who who should be who among? The my, 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 sorry, excuse me. I, I agree with him that there should be regulation. What I'm saying that until he put out the details. Of what he classifies as H -H 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 speech, mm -hmm. or, or what he, what he calls uh, fake news, I won't be able to say I support or okay. Let's hear his, Dr. Uh, his position. Mm -hmm. My own perspective is this: unnecessary control of what people say shrinks and diminishes our democracy. The concomitant effect of which will not allow us to join the Committee of Nations. Having said that, look at when the opposition were telling Ebele uh, Jonathan, uh, you are dumb, you are this, you it was not even the opposition. It was even the same uh, Salai Mehmet. Uh, he was in opposition then. That's why I hey, said no, opposition. No, you say opposition, you'll be like general people. Do you, do you understand? Who says, who says, do you say, understand? You are this. You are that. What did he do? He was still doing his job. Because calling him dumb or this does not diminish his capacity. Does not affect the way he's holding on the economy of the nation. All right? But in a situation whereby you are saying, okay, I don't have that, that temerity to take or to absorb such insults, put it out. The way I was calling this person dumb the other time, me, I cannot take it. So you, you must not call me a dumb, or else I'm going to fight you. All right? Now, I will say that. That is what we call a kind of a balancing between the governed and the government, all right? Which is the court. Okay. So if you come up, if you come up with your with with your do's and don'ts, Mark, you cannot you cannot operate in isolation. Neither is there any Robinson Crusoe again. A living alone on the island. Okay, let, let me now let me, for you to now for us to move forward. Okay. You have to allow the court to also come in and say, look, according to constitution, this is even your bands. Then you, this is your bands. If you if you if you go beyond this, this these are the consequences. If you go beyond this, these are the consequences. We have a constitution, by the yeah, way. Not that you just that not that you time. just sit down but, and then reel out uh, what is not. Okay, let's 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 look at it from another perspective. The um, part of what was said during that um, press conference, the bit of it that we watched earlier of Lai Mohammed talking about uh, the social media, was the fact that. He said this administration is looking to um, situations in Singapore and other countries that have uh, social uh, media regulations, and they are saying that they will use that information 
to formulate a coherent uh, policy for this country? I, I, I want to bring this question to you, Tunji. What is the situation in Singapore and some other countries that practice um, some of the social media regulation? What, what, kind of, what kind of policies do you think we can pick from them that can maybe help with this definition that we're looking for and create a part that everybody will be happy with? I am not aware that Singapore have a, can criminalize uh, somebody attacking the government or saying something that is not uh, contrary to the position of the government. I'm not aware of that. I am aware they have a, a regulation. And uh, Mr. Ayo, uh, my should also know that in the US they don't have it because they see it as a anti masses and anti people. So uh, uh, anti freedom of uh, expression. So they don't have it there. We should also look at that Even area. In the UK? They, they have it in France as well. They have it in some other small, small countries like that. But it's not the way they are doing it here. Because what they call a speech here, or what they call, uh, uh, what's it called? Fake news. Are uh, anything that has to do with opposing government's position. Once you put up any information that oppose government position or that, that, that has to do with countering or exposing government uh, 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 art, they see it as a uh, rumors or fake news. You, and sometimes, you know, government, the way they work or play sometimes, government, they want, when they have a policy they want to put up, they would put something out to test the water, mm. yeah, to see whether or not people mm -hmm. will accept. Mm. If they, when they now see the reaction of the people, they now say, no, we never intended to do that. Yeah, you just reminded me of something. Um, sometime last year, I think, the vice president was all for social media regulation. But just recently, he seemed to have, uh, reports that I read, um, show that he seems to have changed his mind somewhat. He is not um, aimed to see a complete gagging of the social media space. Does this tell you that maybe there are people in the administration that might not completely support this move? No, the, the issue is this. Like, even myself, I am not in support of allowing anything to go by. Just put up anything and just abuse people the way you like, just incite people the way you like, just make comments that are not cultured. Just, you know, I don't like it. I don't like it, it's not proper. But things have to be done in line with law. Mm -hmm. You have to state what and what. In fact, if I put up a, an information or a statement that, allege, that, that, that you consider to be uh, uh, abusive or otherwise, there are a lot on ground that can take care of that. Mm -hmm. We have defamation of character. Yeah. You can go, you can approach the court and, and sue me. So it doesn't have to be the, the whenever I put up anything, it, it, you know, it, what, what they are saying now that it will not be at the will and caprices of the, of the government to, to say what you have said, we consider it a speech, just like we are saying uh, national interest yeah, now, national for security. For you, something that will help. No, because I don't, I don't uh, even, I, 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 I'm not a media person, I'm not in the media. I don't know whether there's any code where they stipulate or state any, everything which a media house must not uh, mm -hmm. uh, put up. For there, them to be able to say, you have done this, we are, we have a sanction. The anonymity of the internet is something we need to consider, uh, take into consideration in all of this uh, conversation. Um, my question is, should energy be ex Tended more towards verification of new sources rather than, you know, using technology and trying to enact laws to um, um, regulate. Like I was saying earlier about fake news, there are steps with which you can use if you really want to learn about it to know if this story that you're seeing that doesn't look so clear is fake or not real. So shouldn't we expend more energy to trying to define, like you have said so far, I, I, than laws? I will not even go to that extent at all. Where we go to is government sometimes are the ones that promotes such hate speeches and fake news. Let me give you an instance. We were told that the president was traveling to Saudi Arabia, all right, to do this, this, and that. And then we'll be going from there to UK for how many days? For a day? private visit. For a private visit. What kind of private visit? It's not a private man, it's a public man. Even when the president goes to toilets, you want to know. Look at the time he also traveled to UK on uh, health tourism. For how many days? For how many months? How much did he spend? We want to know. But now, some people will now go underneath, because even among them, there are some in there that leaks out all those informations, okay? When people now talk about it, you now say it's fake news. 
Why haven't you, in the first instance, put all these things in the public domain? The Singapore is cutting than uh, Brother Lai Mohammed was cutting there. They bring out all necessary informations to the public domain. In France, they put, uh, today saying that they were even saying that the, the wife of the president of France was the one that taught him in, in primary school or so, or whatever. Yeah. Do you understand? So how do you expect people to come up with its speeches in such areas? Unlike here. Out of time. So we, government too, must have to ensure that all necessary information that is supposed to put in the public domain are there, so as to curb unnecessary rumor and fake news. Why would right, people not say? Why would people not say where, the where, president where, has died? Uh, I really would love. When is he used to talk? Oh, oh, when is he used to talk gentlemen, to the gentlemen. people? Yeah, I, um, I would have loved for you to continue because you're, you're saying some very important things, but we, we, I'm afraid we're done with this session for now. So I'll just say thank you very much. This is very, I mean, very energetic. Thank you very much for sharing your thoughts thank you very much all right up next is the problem of tankers falling in on it to stay with us